So I've been here in Indonesia for 11 months now, if we add my duration from Bigitron. In my experience, it feels similar with Philippines because uh, first our countries are very close to each other. So people's culture are quite uh, the same. We eat the same uh, amount of rice, we eat the same amount of type of food, and people are also very kind and welcoming. So hospitality is very, very similar to my country. How I adapted to Indonesia is quite easy because the people are really, really give me a warm welcome here. The only obstacle that I encountered was the language barrier because personally I find it hard to uh, learn Indonesian language. So up until now my Indonesian is only very basic. Uh, my about the favorite food that I like in Indonesia. Uh, there are three things, but uh, my most favorite is gado gado because it's simple and it's quite the healthiest food in Indo. If you're more into vegetables, it all started when Mr. Ape and I talk. Uh, this was like ESL on Indonesia last year where my team participated. It was held in Indonesia. So we talk a few stuff about how my team is going, AP Brand, and what is our plan on beating Onik because that time Onik was the uh, the best team in the world. They won MSC and they won MPL Indonesia. So all they and they also won ASL. So they only need I think MPLI and M5, which they skip MPLI. So we had a few talk, me and Mr. Ape, and I told him that me and my team will win M5. Mr. Ape told me that he is supporting Onik when I visited the boot camp of Araki. And I told him, please come to Philippines so you can witness AP Brand slaughter Onik. Personally, <laughs> it's just a joke, but you know. And I think uh, after that, we started the uh, talks with uh, my transfer for RP because I was interested in uh, working with a bigger organization like RQ. When I came to RQ, uh, the support was overwhelming when I was introduced, roster announced. Uh, it was a big hype because they told me to show off my medal, yeah, the infamous show off. The toughest uh, part of working in, an, in a big organization as RRQ is, of course, the higher expectations from the, from the fans. But because uh, RRQ is a, a well-known professional organization with a professional support system, uh, working here I uh, really didn't feel like it was a big challenge for me because of the professionalism of the management. My departure from RRQ was because of uh, having too much roles in the team. Uh, as you know, me and Zaya both uh, are technical coaches and we do the drafting for the team. And so uh, upon the performance of our team, the management has decided to uh, pursue uh, further with Zaya and I respect the decision of the management. Uh, my, my plan for short term is to find a team and try to get an M-Series championship again. For, for long term, I think it's just basically to settle with a team for long term. To my RRQ players, uh, I just want you to know that you need to keep your enthusiasm and good vibe to the team. I know one day that you will achieve all you wanted in life. Uh, to Mr. AP and the RRQ management, I would like to give my heartfelt thanks for your trust in me even with all the challenges that this season may have brought us through ups and downs, you still trusted me with the process. And I hope all the best for RQ in the future.
especially to my coach Saya. I hope that uh, you can keep uh, bringing the team to success even without me. And thank you to everyone, to the management, to our managers. Thank you for this season. Even though this is the, the best RRQ Hoji season, for me it's the most memorable because through ups and downs, all the kingdoms have supported us around the world. You know, even in Russia, even from the farthest uh, place of Indonesia. We have felt your overwhelming support. So thank you very much and please keep supporting our QOG throughout the season. Gua friend, gua pamit. <laughs>